How's it, Ganon lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review. Now, today it's one of the cards that you requested a hell of a lot on the Griezmann review, and it's one of the cards that over previous versions has been one of the most overpowered FIFA cards on this game. Ariz, Ariz, this card is ridiculously good for his price. Guys, if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, possibly to pack this guy, head over to g2a.com, use that code M89, get yourself a discount, every single link you'll need, right there in the description below. Now, in my opinion, I think this card is so damn cheap. 11 to 200k is his price range on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. He's less than 100k more than his man the match card. In terms of the same stats, he's got 99 jumping and 99 hidden accuracy. That stays the same, but this card has 99 reactions, 94 aggression, 99 position, and 90 vision, and 93 strength. His agility wasn't the greatest in the world despite 89 dribbling. He's got 95 ball control, 98 finishing, 88 long shots, 92 shot power, and 93 bloody volleys. So in terms of goal scoring, this card is one of the best in the business on this game. Poacher, power header, with specialities and traits along with aerial threats. That is exactly what this card is. He's a poacher and in the air, this guy is the best on the game. The best on the game for winning goal kicks, 99 German. He isn't too short either. He wins most headers, whether that be from a goal kick, a cross, a free kick, a corner kick, you name it. This card will win it in the air. Once he does, he's got 99 head accuracy. So in terms of heading, the best on the game. Finishing wise, one of the best in the business. Hence why this card is so overpowered because he can score in a multitude of different ways, whether that be with his head, whether that be with his feet, whether that be with his dick, he can score in any which way you can think possible on this game. Maybe not the dick bit, but you know what I'm on about. Finishing wise, sensational. Honestly, lads, so damn good. It's ridiculous. Strength, he is quite strong, meaning that his hold up play is next level because he can win it in the air, he can chest it down, he can bring others into play. He can play like a target man, so his hold up play in general is very bloody good. Positioning wise, the best on the game. And I'm not just saying that lightly. I'm saying that because genuinely he has the best positioning on the game. He's got 99 positioning. His movement isn't too great, meaning that he doesn't kind of move for the ball. He doesn't drop short. He doesn't push too far forward, meaning that his positioning is always on point. You know where to find him from across, from a goal kick from a nice pass and move in the middle of the field. You know exactly where this card is. He's not gonna run the channels. He's gonna be right, dead, center in the field. His position is the best on the game. His ball control, sensational. Now, I don't have dribbling as a pro simply because of that agility. I know his stat was high, but with the agility being low and his balance being low, his dribbling isn't great and it will affect the card. So that's gonna knock his rating down a bit more. But the key question, is he better than his man the match card? Hell yes, I think he is much better than that man the match card as he comes close yet again in the background. So overall lads, he is gonna get a rating of a 9.8 and a value of coins for 10 out of 10. Honestly, lads, he's so damn cheap for how good this card actually is. I hope you have enjoyed this review, lads. Like the Griezmann review, go ham on that thumbs up button. Smash the hell out of that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.